<laughs> oh shit! Don't go nowhere. Uh, 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 uh. Bring, hey, bring your little ass back over here. Have a seat right there. Have a seat right there. Have, have a, shut up. Have, sit your ass there and shut up. Have a seat right there. Why you ever, you always gonna make everything about race, TJ? TJ always make everything about race. I told y'all when it comes to the culture surrounding these kids in college, leave me the fuck alone. I cover race and sports. And then unfortunately, I have to. Because if I don't cover this shit the right way, someone would fall under the misconception that we have graduated, that we have arrived, that we have overcome. Someone, someone would be, you know, fooled. Right? Bamboozled. That we have accomplished some shit as a culture. When we can't even have a basketball game between a team that's mostly white and a team that has a lot of African Americans without white assholes fucking it up. Making it about race. It wasn't TJ about it wasn't TJ this time. It was a columnist from Several major newspapers, several major newspapers are having to apologize. There, you know, there's people in trouble now because they doing the same thing to this team that they did to the the 80 to the 86 Miami Hurricanes when the 86 Miami Hurricanes were facing a predominantly white school. They made it some. They called the shit some hoodlums and. Shit like that, you know. I forgot the name. One of you guys, one of you guys in the in the, in the chat can can help me remember the name that they gave to the Miami and Notre Dame, right? But it, you know, the dichotomy was somebody's holy and somebody's evil. What a team with all of the dark skinned people were the evil ones, right? And they're doing it again. They're doing it again, right? This asshole. Right, Ben Blanch from, um, he, he posted the apology on his Twitter page, you know, after criticizing this team because, you know, their parents were African American and African American people had children. How fucking dare they? How dare African American people have children and those children wind up going to a, a, an amazing program like LSU and playing basketball? How fucking dare black people? Fuck and make children, and those children face a school named Iowa with all of these little lily white ass white girls whom you want to canonize. You say they, but they're basketball players. You see how white people drag shit into shit that don't have shit to do with anything. But when your black ass bring up an issue of race when your black ass address race they try to make it seem like you're whining and complaining about race when the motherfuckers never got over race their children go to white schools to stay the fuck away from you because they're concerned about race don't ever let a white person a white conservative any member of the G GOP some of these Trump assholes discourage you or chase you away from the subject of race because them motherfuckers are obsessed with race. We can't even play fucking basketball. Girls basketball. Women's basketball. What our white assholes bringing up race. You know why they never got over it. Them bitches mad because we were freed. They're still angry because we were freed. Okay? I told you that shit is a gene. It's never going away. We're never going to be united with all white people. There's only 10% of them. And that's depending on where you live. Okay? If you're in Shell, Met, Louisiana, it's like 1% of them that you can actually fucking stomach. The rest of them are white assholes. And nothing proves white asshole like when that gene in them is triggered. And what triggers the gene? When a white kid is versus a black kid. They can't fucking help it. You got to realize racism is something in white folk that they can't fucking help. That's why I tell you, let them have it. Let them bitches stay racist until they turn turquoise. It doesn't fucking matter. What we have to do as a race is make sure white assholes don't affect policy.
is when they have the opportunity to implement the policy of their grandparents. That's when we need to, that's why we need to stay the fuck woke. You should never be asleep. You should never doze. You should never nod off. Because the moment you nod off, the same white assholes that attack these girls in basketball, they, these little fuckers slither their way into politics. And they call it something like make, make America great again. A MAGA. You know, if you don't stay woke, ladies and gentlemen, this is the this is the America. This is the America that your children have to endure. They have to suffer through these white assholes who are, you know, our society has had to deal with so many layers of misogyny, racism, and negativity that I can now see why the words I used were wrong. It was not my intent to be hurtful, but now I understand. How what the fuck you mean now? That the coach threatened to sue you? That the coach threatened to sue the newspaper? That the players threaten to sue the newspaper because you you calling them villains over a fucking game? What the fuck is wrong with you? Retarded motherfucker. But this is the shit that we have to deal with. And yes, I curse. And if you don't like the fact that I curse, fuck you. Because who you need to be angry with is that we can't watch a fucking basketball game without being subjected to these white motherfuckers. That's what you need to be concerned about. We can't even play basketball while black, which has some kind of way become the blackest shit in the country. We can't even do that without them fucking with us. We just want to live our lives without y'all fucking with us. <laughs>